Coffee. All right, I got a module to rebuild here. This is out of a 2015 Cadillac Escalade. It would be nice if one day I could afford the cars that I work on. So what this module is, it is the side obstacle detection from the left rear and it stopped working. Come on you. So well, that plugs in right there, that's kind of neat. I've already cleaned up a lot of corrosion on that. And you can see it cleaned up some corrosion in there. And I have a little bit left right there. Oh, look at that, I'm missing a pin. That's not good. All right, so this is a little bit of a neat design. And by neat, I mean horrendous to figure out without having done this before. This connector here, um, I made the mistake, I pulled it out first, or tried to, and I bent all of these pins. I had to take these little screws, this whole thing I had to put into a sandblaster. I taped off the end so I wouldn't get sand in all the connectors, but I had to clean out my little bolts there. And really, realistically, I didn't have to do that because this just pops off. Oh, maybe I did have to do that. If I hadn't bent it, it would have pulled out a little bit easier. There we go. So you can see all the corrosion on the inside here. And that translated to corrosion buildup on the board and corrosion buildup at this pin. And this looks like this is all injection molded at one, oh, and look at that. Look at all the corrosion in there, too. Oh, yeah, look at, oh, baby. That, that goes good in your coffee. This connector is missing one of its pins, so we have to repin it. That's just corroded off. And these pins look like they come through here and then go down and then come up and out. Well, that's going to be kind of hard to duplicate, so my game plan is to take this over to the drill press and just drill that pin right out, and then we're going to have it come out of the back here, and I'll run a jumper wire from there directly to this trace on the board right here. And now to do that, I'm going to have to clean up some of that green enamel. So for that, I have a fiberglass pen, which is designed specifically to do that without destroying everything. Only problem is, that doesn't really fit there. So that's, that's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Uh, so let's get this kind of cleaned up and figured out. And we'll go from there. For this, I should probably get my coffee off my workbench. Okay, so there is a pin inside there still. I'm gonna try to get that out. Oof, yeah, there we go. Somewhat, part of it came out. Little corroded piece of pin. I wanna get this corrosion cleaned off. I have used vinegar in the past, just white vinegar. It really splurged and went with some electrical contact cleaner. Let's see how this works. Let's see what kind of mess I can make. That is nasty. Maybe I'm just, am I just moving the corrosion around on the board? I think I might be. I almost want to say this contact cleaner is kind of disappointing. It's evaporating nicely, so I know it won't leave any residue on the board, but it's also not really taking any of the corrosion off. Double strength clean vinegar. Twice as strong as the single strength clean vinegar, I guess. I wonder how this would taste on fish and chips. Okay, let's go. Now that on here. Now apparently this should react with the corrosion and help clean it up. Plus, it smells nice. Now I want some fish and chips. There's a big old janky, janky corroded spot. Right in my, there's my screwdriver. Okay. Carefully. Boop! That might be a little too pokey. And slightly more blunt might work better. Okay, at least that's through. Put my cleaning vinegar back on this. This module is about $800 plus programming. Apparently you cannot reuse a scrapyard one. I wonder now that I have a through there. 
This contact cleaner does not really seem to clean much. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe it's me. All right, kiss. Yeah, man. There is still some green crap on that. That's like that's just a crazy design to do it that way. Where's my safety pin? I'm almost tempted to get a set of torch tip cleaners out. I mean, the module's already inoperative. How much more broke can broke get? I don't even really, I'm not reusing that hole. I just want to get rid of that corrosion so that the board, I mean, this board's probably going to have a limited lifespan as it is. But I don't want it to be extra limited, you know what I mean? It's actually pretty not terrible. It's not great either, but not terrible is what I go for. And that off, the contact cleaner that evaporates so nice and quick is I eat. So now what I need to do is I need to get, I need to get the enamel cleared off of this trace so I can solder a jumper wire to it. And then I gotta get that jumper wire through that connector. I gotta clean this up and straighten all of these little pins or, or they're bent. The reason that they're bent is I did not realize that the whole internals had to come out first. So when I was working on this thing and it was here, I was, you know, like a normal person would using my pry drivers and trying to get this out. And that put some stress on those pins and that, that made them a little bit sideways. Well, that's what I get for trying to bend them back. Don't. That there looks like that was an insulator so that those pins didn't hit the case. I mean, there's so much corrosion on that case. I don't really know that it would have an opportunity to make contact. But anyways, let's finish bending these back or at least try to get them somewhat somewhat close. That's better-ish. Let's uh, let's try to see if we can't clean this up a bit. Okay, so that's mildly better. This is pretty gross here. These should be sealed better. Like, granted the thing, like it lasted nine, 10 years. With how expensive cars are and how expensive all these parts are, it'd be nice if they lasted a little bit longer. Long gone are the Henry Ford days of being able to buy a car, buy your Model T and get in any color you want so long as it's black, and then actually buy all the parts for it so you can fix it. And the crazy thing is that manufacturers only have to support all these modules for 10 years. Maybe I'm just being old man yells at cloud, but I don't have the money to replace a car every 10 years. I got that kind of cleaned up. Uh, I might ideally want to sandblast this off. Sand wouldn't be great with aluminum, but like a bead blaster would work nicely, or walnut shells. That's to sit in here, and this will sit on top of it, like so. And that is crazy that that's all it takes for that to connect. That might be why the corrosion got in there. That seal doesn't look like it's sitting down in its groove the way that it's supposed to. The other thing I need to be aware of is how much room I have while making that jumper. Because this board sits on top of this one, and then this is going to sit like that. So, for me to make that jumper, this piece of metal right there blocks me from just running a connector through it this way. So I can make a jumper and might have to add some extra insulation to it. Maybe I just bring the jumper wire down through the port, the pin where it was supposed to go, and then back through here. I think that's what I'm probably gonna end up doing. You have to be cautious removing enamel. I tried this on a laptop once, but uh, I didn't have this fancy fiberglass pen. I used, I used a little bit of what I thought was fine emery cloth. Well, long story short, I ended up having to buy a new keyboard for it. Those flexible circuit boards, those wire traces are very, very, very thin. This is somewhat non-aggressive. I could solder my jumper directly here and then that would still keep it attached to everything else. Let's try the trace first, because if I screw up up here, there's less consequence than if I screw up down there. Okay, I'm starting to see bits of copper through the enamel. Bad decision in three, two, one. This is a pretty thick copper trace. So I'm hoping I can get away with this. There we go, clean that up a touch more. A lot of good all this protective enamel did it. So from here, let's clean this a touch. I'm gonna run my jumper wire, where's my freaking pointer stick? I'm gonna run my jumper wire up through that hole and then solder it there. That way, when I put everything back together, because this way it's my first day. That way when I put everything back together, it's not gonna, this 
Metal isn't going to interfere with it. Yeah, yeah, that should work. That'll be fine. Says everybody right before things are definitely not fine. That jumper, that jumper's about, that's a similar size to that can I? Okay, yeah, close enough. If they wanted talent, they could have hired someone that knew what they were doing. However, I do realize that these are enamel coated, so I need to clean the end of my wire off. When you let the magic smoke out of something, specifically starters, alternators, motors, it's typically the enamel on the coils that is melting away. And you're essentially short-circuiting the internals. Through there. Give it a little teeny tiny bend. Oh, look at that. Now, very, very important here. We need some flux to make that solder bond to both sides. No clean, lead-free, fast wetting, high quality soldering flux paste. Get that on the lead on my wire. You do have to clean this stuff up afterwards because it is acidic. It will damage the board over time. Apply my preheat. Whoop. Back on that. Very fancy holding mechanism there. Let my heat gun get up to temp. Got my solder. I'm using 0.6 millimeter. Oh look, that one's got lead in it. That's how you know it's the good stuff. Watch for that solder ball to kind of just disappear. There we go. Yeah! And we are together. Just gotta clean that flux off. So I have here some isopropyl alcohol, 99%. Clean toothbrush. How's about that? Dee hee 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 scent. Not the worst solder job that's ever been done. By far not the best. Not the worst. And that's what we here go for. All right, so now I need to find a pin to take the place of that one that's rotted off. For that, I have this lovely Amazon special that was semi-organized until I dropped it. It's not bad. If I screw it up, I can always just uh, pre-pin the other end of the connector too. A little big. A little big. What else have I got? Hmm. My... Dutch connectors are kind of the closest that I have to that, which is kind of strange, but whatever. Strange world we live in. That'll work. I've just got to drill it out and get the drill hole in the right spot. Is that a... Look at that. That's a hole right there. There's a hole. There's a hole. So what way did this thing go in the car? Did that let water leak back into it? Certainly didn't let it out. Well, dang. <laughs> That didn't quite make it all the way through. Or did it? Yeah, it did. It just pushed it back over through to the same hole that I already had. Maybe. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like drill chucks, so we put a chuck in your chuck. This, uh, this isn't gonna work. Um, I'm just gonna break this drill bit, but I'm gonna keep some sideways pressure on it and try to make it straight. No, it didn't work. Maybe I can hit the same hole. Just get it close. Probably not. Did I do it? Oh, yeah! I got it close. Well, that was something. Well, I wasn't able to get drilled through the old pin exactly, kind of due to my lack of machining skills and tooling, but uh, mostly the skills. You can see that I did manage to get through the connector. So I think what I'm going to end up doing, the connector on the vehicle side of this was quite damaged as well. So we're probably going to end up just running the mod, running my wire here through the connector like so. And instead of going connector to connector again, or pin to pin, I'm probably gonna have to cut out the old pin and then just join this wire directly to the wire on the other side of the connector and weather pack and seal that all up. But there is a chance, albeit probably slim, that I may have just saved this module. So I'm gonna bead blast the remaining bit of corrosion out of these so everything seals up nicely. We'll seal it up with some dielectric grease to hopefully help protect it a little bit longer. Get this put back in the vehicle and see if it works.